All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel, and we are back in Train Sim World 2. Now, I do not want to do any more training. I want to get at it, man. I want to... <laughs> I want to get doing a scenario here, so we are going to New York Penn today. <clears throat> Stop location New York Penn, so I guess we're all good and ready to go, apparently? Master Control Emergency. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to charge the brakes. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The problem is, when you're doing these games, it's like trying to remember how to do everything. So we are timed. Now, it didn't say I have to pick up anybody. So I'm assuming we don't. <clears throat> Alright, let's get this thing rolling here. Ah, we got sirens. This is definitely New York. <laughs> definitely New York. Okay, so let's really get this thing rolling. It's, uh... Taking a little bit of time here. Now I will say, it looks like that the uh, the classic controls were only for the training. Because now that I'm uh, in an actual scenario, it's the same controls that we have for the... Uh, <clears throat> the Trade Sim World 2 stuff, which is the uh, the immersive controls. So I'm liking that. So we're going downhill. We need to bump this up, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be late. Don't want to be late. So we can get this up to 50. Okay, let's cut back the power now. <clears throat> we don't want to speed. Pardon me. We don't want to speed. And we're going downhill, so... Let's put on min power. Let's put on coast. Yep, I knew it. Now we're speeding. Charge brakes. What? Oh, yeah, okay. <clears throat> See, I forgot. I forgot the, uh... The brakes are all in the throttle controller. It's the same thing as the, uh... L1 and L2. So let's get back up to speed. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day out there. I know, I'm having a good time. I plan on buying another DLC for this game this week. Uh, they still have them on sale, and I kind of want to get them while they're cheap, because, again, I think $30 for a DLC is a little pricey. Um, even though I do appreciate what you get in a DLC, like, I do understand, you know, that you're getting the trains and everything like that, but, yeah, it's a little pricey. Let's put them in brake on. I wish I knew how to do like the uh, the drive-by shots, like I see some of the guys that do this content <clears throat> use, but I just I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, let's boost the power up a little bit here. So that's what it's all about: controlling that speed. And it looks like we're going to be going in a tunnel. And you know what? I didn't turn the lights on. Ooh, lights. Wipers. Cab lights. Marker lights. Gauge lights. Headlights. There we go. Put those on bright. 
Oh, crap, we are going way too fast. We need to slow this thing down. Like <clears throat> yesterday, man, holy. Okay. <laughs> Put that back to minimum break. Try to get this down a little more. See what happens when you don't pay attention? All right, so let's try. There you go. Get that to twenty percent, and just a little over a mile, it's going to drop down to fifteen miles an hour. Or so put that on min power. Coast. A lot of switching here. <laughs> a lot of switching. That's all right though. That's what makes the game interesting, you know. It's all the things that you have to keep an eye on. Like, I never I never realized, man. I never realized how tricky it is to drive a train. There's a lot of things that are going on that you have to pay attention to. You know, and of course, in real life, you don't have... You don't have the, uh... The kind of waypoints on the screen showing you what's coming up, so... So we got a 1.5% gradient here going uphill so we're gonna have to give this a little more juice actually no you know what let's uh let's put them in breakdown let's start slowing this down because coming up we have that 15 mile an hour speed limit coming up on us pretty quickly so Slow this down quite a bit here. Okay. I think we're pretty good. We're going uphill again, so it seems like we should be losing more speed in this, but then again, we're not going that fast, so. Let's try to get this down again here. Whoa, that was close. That freaked me out a little bit. Not going to lie. We're almost at our stop. New York Penn. I've actually been here. I uh, I took a train down to North Carolina when I was when I was younger. My father was working down there. And uh, we took a train from Albany down to Penn Station. And then from Penn Station to, I believe, uh, D.C. And then from D.C. to North Carolina. It was actually, the whole ride was in the dark, so it was very boring. <laughs> I don't recommend taking a train ride in the dark. Okay, so we have mid power going. We need to stop right up here. So we'll just coast it. Put the minimum brake on. Yeah, we're starting to slow down. Perfect. Hopefully we'll come to a stop here. It's looking good, it's looking good. I'm locked doors. Now as you can see, I'm showing you right here now. There are no people waiting to get on this train. No people at all, so Right doors unlocked. At least we see people getting off this time, so that's a plus. All right. 11.45, these people are probably... Hmm, I don't know. 11.45 in the morning. They're definitely not coming back from lunch. 
Maybe they're going to lunch, though. Okay, load passengers. It says locked doors. So now I didn't see anybody get on the train. I see people get off the train. So we locked the doors. There we go. I like to see the animations. Wow, that was it? That was literally the scenario? That was so short. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we'll continue. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess we'll continue the journey. That's uh, that's crazy. That was such a short one. Okay, so now we have New York Penn, which where we're at, and we're going to be going to Hicksville. So operate the service from New York Penn Station to Ron Roncacoma. Another engineer will take over the service at Hicksville. Alrighty, so I guess we're back in it now. Master key's off. That's funny because, like, literally, we're. It seems like we're picking up right from where we left off. Hmm. That's interesting. That is interesting. Unlock doors. So let's just, for the sake of argument, do this the right way this time. Put the control in there. Whoops. And, hmm. Why won't it? It won't let me turn it, though. Door control key. That's strange. Okay, so I guess we're just going to unlock the doors this way. The brick is fully on, so let's, uh, let's charge that up. Or actually, you know what? We need to pull this back, I believe. Yeah, because emergency. Max break. And we'll charge that up. Wait until 8.16 and 20 seconds. There we go. There we go. Headlights are on. Load passengers. So I think I can probably... Yeah, I can lock the doors now. Sorry, guys. You should have got on if you had to go, so... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay, stop at location. So, pull this all the way back. And let's get this thing rolling. Hey, don't look mad at me, lady. I'm, I'm just trying to follow the schedule here. Dang. <laughs> So guys, if you're a fan of this game, and maybe you weren't aware, they are going to be adding steam engines to the game um, sometime this year. And I gotta say, man, I am really excited about that because steam locomotives are like... Yeah, man, I used to love those growing up, you know. Um, I would have the uh, the model trains. And I would have diesel, but I would have the, uh, the steam locomotives, and they would have like the smoke coming out and all that, and oh man, it was... Just so cool. I love Steve Locomotive so much. Let's open that window. So, oh, okay. Let's just uh, coast this. Love these tunnels. Love going through the tunnels. I gotta say, when uh, when I rode the train going down to North Carolina, sometimes going through these tunnels, man, on Amtrak is really crazy. Especially when you have another another train passing you and you just see the lights on and the train go whizzing past you and it's so close. Like, it's unbelievable how close the uh, the trains are. So, okay, we got a downhill grade, so I think we'll... Put the, oh. And, never mind. <laughs> Let's start moving this baby out. Because I believe it's like almost 60 miles an hour now, so. And we're headed to Jamaica. 9.9 miles. Uh, I hope this is a little longer than the last one, but if not, that's okay. There's so much to do in this game. Like I say, I think I'm going to be getting the uh, the DLC that brings you in England. Um, maybe it's like the uh, the East, East Way or uh, something like that. I think that's what I'll be getting next. I really want the Canadian one, 
but uh, that's still like 30 bucks, and I just don't want to spend 30 bucks on it. I didn't even spend $30 on this whole game. So spending $30 on a DLC for it seems a little much. And I still need to get into the, uh, the Peninsula Corridor more, because I see some videos on that that looks really interesting. I wish it was a little more freight stuff on that, but it's okay. Alright, so we're going downhill, so let's uh, put down min power because we're gonna be pick up speed regardless. As a matter of fact, let's just let's just go to coast. Now that looks like that should be like six yeah, that's at sixty. Let's put on the min brake. I don't think the minimum brake does oh oh min power start pushing this. As soon as we start dropping, I'll uh, I'll push that up. Yeah, let's try to push that up a little bit. A 1.3% gradient. It's uh, that's actually quite a much. That's quite a much, really. That's quite a bit. It's enough to slow you down. But we're doing pretty good. We're maintaining 59. So I gotta say, I'm really surprised at how much I enjoy this game, because, uh, well, let's, whoops, I didn't want to do that, I wanted to, there we go, turn that blind down, um, I really had to think about if I wanted to buy this game or not, it was just one of those things that I wasn't sure how fun it would be, and in 1.8 miles, the speed limit drops to 30. Have to keep that in mind. But I gotta say, man, since I've had it, like, I'm really enjoying it. I find myself really wanting to play this game quite a bit. Okay, we're finally getting out of the tunnel. Oh, it's raining out. Okay, so... Let's see here. The wipers, I think, are over here somewhere. Yeah. There we go. And we're going uphill again, so let's kind of boost that power up. Let's take a look outside in the rain. I gotta say, man, I like the weather effects in this game. You know, I really like that. I mean, like, look, it, it just looks like... <laughs> it just looks like a, a really... A really lousy day out. Definitely New York, man. It definitely looks like New York, no doubt. Then again, like I said in the last video, uh, when we did this New York route, pretty much every city in New York kind of looks the same anyway. Whoops. Okay. Men break. Why? Hmm. Oh, okay. Let's just coast it because we're going 48. We got to get it down to 30. Come on. Downhill. So we'll just put the minimum brake on. Leave it on there. And we're going to be speeding anyway. Yeah. So let's... Try to get this thing slowed down a little bit here. The brakes on this don't seem to be as good as like the uh, the brakes on the freight train. I gotta say. <laughs> there we go. Like the uh, the min brake doesn't seem to do too much. You would hope to think that that. Oh, man. And then in, well, like 700 yards, we'll be able to go 60 again. So it's weird how the speed goes up and down. Like, it went from 30, and then, as you can see now, it's kind of like 45. And then it goes up to 60 again. So 
So we got to really give this thing some juice because that little bit of a grade really kills the power for some reason. You wouldn't think so. I mean, it's a 0.2% grade, but it definitely slows you down. Okay, let's... I do like the fact that you really need to figure out how to control each train. You know, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. So Jamaica's still like six miles out. So that's pretty good. And again, we got a yellow light coming up, which means caution. But yeah, it doesn't tell you to lower your speed or anything. I guess it's just something that maybe you have to know. Okay, that's a green. So let's uh let's get back up to speed here. Man, these buttons are so touchy. So touchy when you're using the uh the L1 and R1 to control the throttle. And we're going downhill again, so now we should pick up some speed. So we'll start coasting now. I mean, it's it's 60, so I don't really care if we're doing like maybe 55, 58. It doesn't really bother me. I'd rather go a little under than end up going way over. Let's, let's put on minimum power. Okay, now we can kick it up again, so let's uh, let's do that. Let's hear the horn on this bad boy. Not not a bad sounding horn. Like I say, so like if anybody knows how to get it into that um like drive by mode with the uh, the camera, let me know. I'd love to know how to do that. Cause I can't figure out how to lock the camera. See, now again... Okay, there we go. It's green. Maybe when it's yellow like that, you just have to put it in coast? I'm not sure. Let's see, again, we have all these yellow lights. And I feel like you're not supposed to go the full speed limit through these yellow lights, but... I don't know. The tutorials in this game don't really tell you a lot, especially about the lights and stuff, so... Man, look at this train rocking and rolling. Okay, now we're on green lights, so... We are on our way to Jamaica. Jamaica, Queens. Pretty cool. I can't say I've been to, like, New York City a ton. But, uh... I think if you're a New Yorker, you're pretty much familiar with all the boroughs and stuff like that. I would love to see this game come upstate. That would be awesome. Okay, we're going to put it back up to min power. We're level right now, so that's, that's awesome. This is the first time it's been level, I think, uh, in both scenarios, actually. So that's pretty cool. Take a look outside. There's the back of the train. All right. Doing good. In one mile, it's down to 30. Okay, so what is this? Okay, just kind of like going under underpasses, I guess. Zero point. Okay, so let's start breaking. Now 
we don't want to like slam on the brakes because you don't want the passengers to feel that. But I feel like we got to be braking a little better than what we're doing. Yeah. Driving significantly over the speed limit. I know, man. I gotta. Man, you really gotta slam these brakes on. Okay. Let's put on min power now. And <laughs> we're going downhill again, of course. Of course. So let's just coast it, I guess. And the speed limit just went up. You see that? You see that? It, it, 0 0.6 miles is 15 miles an hour. And right now, it just went up to like 30, I believe. So. Crazy how that happens. Okay, so we're going to start slowing down. Or not. Those little stutters, man. I really wish they could fix that. And it's not just on a console. It's... It's, you know, it's on uh, it's on computer, too. I see the PC guys. They do. Now, see? Now it just, like, went up. I don't understand. See, it just said that that was a 15 mile per hour zone. And it went up to like 30. I don't understand how that works, but we're coming up to our location anyway, so. We'll bump up the power just a little bit, I guess, here. Nope. Let's, yeah. Put on the min brake. See, I got the min brake on, and we're still picking up speed. That's a little crazy. But that's alright. Slowing down. 18. Come on, baby. You gotta slow down a little bit more than that. 16. 15. Nice. And... We are almost at our stop. So I do like that. That's uh, that's pretty cool, right? And look at I had the min brake on, and we're picking up speed. What does the min brake do? I don't know. Take a look here. We want to come in nice and smooth. Stop it nice and smoothly. We don't want to jostle anybody around out of their seats or anything like that. So let's uh, get this stopping a little bit more here. Okay. We'll just coast it in. And it looks like it's going to be a good one. It looks like it's going to be a good one. So now, the way I'm pretty sure it works is that as long as the end of the train doesn't pass that, you're good. So if I stopped it a little further, yeah, yeah, look at that. Perfect. So let's unlock these doors, see if anybody gets out. Oh, yeah, people are finally getting out. So maybe it just glitches out sometimes that you don't see people. But again, I don't see people getting on. It says load passengers, but I don't see people getting on the train. People got off the train, but they're not getting on. But that's all right. Now, I'm pretty sure they said that I was to come here and then someone was going to take over. Was that this one or was that the last one? I can't remember. So, 834.20. So, technically, we have a couple minutes to let people get on. Is this dude going to get on? Come on, dude. You know you want to get on the train. Come on. I think he's going to do it. I think he's going to do it. Uh, Maybe not. He's just going to stand there. He's just going to stand there and cross his arms at me. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know.
but he has time. So let's uh, let's get up and stretch our legs a little bit here. Open the door. Ooh. Take a walk around here. Oh, okay, so maybe that's why. Because the key's over here. It's funny because on the tutorial, they had me do this, but now they don't, so... Open that door, get a little bit of fresh air. That nice New York rain. Oh, and that's pretty cool. The windshield wiper puts on the windshield wiper on both both sides. Well, we better get in our seat here because it's almost that time. All right, lock those doors. Stop location. Okay, I must have been wrong. I could have swore they said that. Hmm. All right. So the brakes are good. Let's uh, let's do it manually this time. See what happens. Put up to twenty percent, and we're rolling. Like the only way I can do this kind of drive-by thing is just holding the uh, the analog stick slightly so the camera doesn't move. Bump up the power. I don't know. I'd like to know how to lock that camera. I need to. I need to learn. I'm still learning with this game. So we're going up a two, a two percent grade uphill, and we're gaining speed oddly. And we can bump the speed up now. Not too much, dude. Not too much. Driving over speed limit. How am I driving? I was not driving over speed limit. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? See, I, I love that. Seeing the other trains go by. I do like the fact that they added that into this game. You know, that there's... It feels like... A world that's being lived in and I'm not watching the speed again. God dang it. But you know what? That's, that's okay because... Very soon, it's going to be like 80 miles an hour, so we're good, we're good. We are good. Nope, but now it says I'm speeding. It just said 80 miles an hour. <laughs> and what what is that? I don't understand. Oh, this game sometimes, man, I don't know. Okay, now we're at 80. So because this uh, goes up in percentages, it's kind of strange, you know, because you don't want to just hit the throttle to the max. But you definitely want to, you need to pick up speed because like right now I'm going severely under the speed limit. So you know what, let's just, uh, let's just go max power and see what happens. This train looks kind of longer than the last one, I think. Let's hit the horn. Fourteen miles. Okay, let's cut this back to about 50% here. Nice though, man. 80 miles an hour. That's pretty cool. It doesn't look like it when you look out the side window, does it? It looks pretty fast, though, when you're in the outside view. So we got just a very small uphill grade that we're going up. 
I love how the speed limit's 80, and if you're going 81, it's in the yellow. It's like, dude, it's one mile. It's one mile. Calm down. You know, we're not speeding. You won't even get a ticket for going one mile over the speed limit. Come on now. And honestly, I have not seen anything in this game that indicates that you get in trouble for speeding anyway. As a matter of fact, you get points regardless. You get points if you're going under. Like, that. I just got points for going under the speed limit when I'm going the speed limit. I'm going exactly 80. Driving under speed limit. Plus 30. I don't know. I don't get it. Let's shut that off for a little bit. See what that looks like else. Pretty cool. Look at how the train looks wet and it's kind of like shining off it. That's pretty cool. And of course, we gotta slow it down a little bit here. We're speeding. There you go. Try to get that like rail fan camera going there. Whoa. Okay, we need to slow down drastically right now. Get back in here. And then by the time I slow down, the speed limit will go back up again. I knew it! See? Look at it. Every time. Every time. <laughs> Crazy. Driving significantly over the speed limit. 2,998. All right. Let's uh, turn these windshield wipers down a little bit here. There we go. We don't need those on high. Wow, that was on like 50%. And we weren't picking up speed. So this is actually a pretty nice, decent, long, long scenario here. Whoa, wrong way. Hit wrong button, wrong button. I do that so much in this game. So much. Come on. We're level. You should be slowing down. There you go. So we'll just coast it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. You definitely get a sense of speed in that view right there. Wow. Alright. There's another uh, terminal there, must be. But that's not our stop. We still have 8 miles to go. A little over 8 miles to go to get to our stop. So let's... uh. Boost the prop a little bit. So yeah, this video is probably going to go a little longer than I, I thought it was going to. That's alright though. You know, you got to make videos that correspond with the game you're doing, you know, so... With a game like this, it's really hard to just make a short video. You don't want to cut anything out. You know, part of the fun's the journey. Same thing with SnowRunner. So anybody still watching, I truly appreciate that. Now see, we're going uphill. Even though it's only like a 1%, 0.1% grade, but... Not the best looking day here 
in New York, that's for sure. I really wish that the cameras, though, the controls were a little better than they are. Let's see if I can get that again. Nah, it's not doing it right. Okay. I need to stop messing with the camera anyway and pay attention. That's when I that's when I speed. Some of those things that go flying past you, man, it looks like they're so close, it looks like they're gonna hit the train, but they don't. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Pretty good. The thing is, you know, like I like looking outside so you can see the scenery, because you can't see the scenery from inside the train. Although I wouldn't say New York City is the most scenic, but uh, it's pretty cool. I really liked what they did with this, with the DLCs, that there's some places that are really urban, there's some places that are very scenic, you know what I mean? So it's a, it's a nice mix. So if you get sick of driving in the city, you can go drive the countryside. I'm not going to lie, I think I do enjoy the freight trains a little more just because it seems like there's more to do like you can uncouple and you have to switch the tracks and, and things like that you know like load up coal I kind of like that and uh, you know when I was a kid man it was always freight trains you know those were those were the coolest hey you got another train passing us Love that. That is awesome. And I mean, that's not even an exaggeration. Like, that's exactly how close they are on the railroad when they pass you, man. It's like, it's just crazy. Okay, we can bump this up a little bit here. We're going a little under the speed limit. So I'm up to 20%, and that's not having us gain anything. So we'll bump it up to maybe 42. There we go. Speed's starting to climb now. Like I say, trying to get that throttle just right, it's uh, it's tricky. You know, you got to figure out how much to just maintain the speed. And sometimes that doesn't even work because in the tutorials they'll say if you bring it down to idle, you know, it'll maintain the speed. But that's not always the case. So we have a little bit of a grade again. So we'll bump up the power to try to maintain it. Bring it back down to the min power. It's all like that balance of giving it some juice and taking it away. <laughs> this game has really like rejuvenated my interest in trains though, you know, because I've always enjoyed them. I've always enjoyed like the model trains and stuff like that, but I never really thought too much about actually driving. Like what does it take to drive a train, you know? I never really realized how much went into it. And especially when you're... Whoa! What in the world was that? Oh, man. Okay, so... Wait, what the hell was that? What just happened? It went red, <laughs> and then it... Hmm... Okay, quite possibly it was because I was talking and I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know what happened there, but the whole train tipped. Like, I don't know what was going on with that. That was kind of crazy. Okay, 40 miles an hour, so let's, uh... I'll start slowing this down. You gotta really apply the brakes to slow this thing down 
fast, I, I gotta say. Okay. And again, we are very close to our destination. So let's uh, I'll start really slowing this down. Oh, I wonder what that green icon thing is. Okay. And we'll just coast it in. I hope we don't have to give it power. I don't think we will. We're maintaining a pretty steady 11 miles per hour, so let's, uh, this is probably going to be a tricky one to get the camera going on here, but. Whoa, 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 okay, let's just not do that. All right, so let's, uh. There we go. Nice. So I think that passengers can get out both sides. Um, yeah. So we'll unlock both doors here. If we can, maybe we can. Oh yeah, we have can. So I mean, they can get out both sides, right? Yeah. Okay, so again, it looks like people are getting off. I don't see a lot of people getting on. I don't see anybody getting on, actually. Okay. Lock doors. Come on, lock the door. There you go. Okay, for some reason that door would not lock. Okay, there we go. Wow, all right. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. I only got a silver for that. Yeah, my uh, my speed was kind of crazy. I'm still learning how to figure out how to get it up to speed quick and stuff like that. So it's something I definitely got to work on. But with that being said, guys, uh, that's where we're going to end this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Like I said, this game is one of the games that uh, is kind of like a, I don't know, not a guilty pleasure because, I mean, it's a sim. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, now, like I said, they have a couple of the DLCs uh, pretty cheap in the PlayStation Store if you wanted to grab them up. Now would be a good time to do it because when the sale goes off, they'll be going back up to their $20 and $30 price tags. So... That's something you might want to think about. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time, guys.